very long ago, I made a folded up pair of jeans cake and you all really liked that one. So I thought to myself, what other clothes can I make that are folded up? Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I turn regular old layers of cake into hyper-realistic cake sculptures. And this channel is where I show you how to make them. So subscribe. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a hoodie cake. I really like this cake idea because I really like how exact I don't have to be. Let me explain that better. Some objects require measuring and preciseness to get it right. For example, if I'm recreating, let's say a blender and my lines aren't absolutely straight and clean and perfect, it's not gonna look realistic. There's not very much wiggle room with the blender, but a sweatshirt is more loose. The measurements don't have to be perfect. My lines don't have to be sharp and it's still gonna look like a sweatshirt. Is it a size small? Is it a triple XL? It's whatever I want and it's still gonna look realistic. No two folded up sweatshirts are ever folded exactly the same. And here I have roughly sculpted the cake into the shape of a sweatshirt. And I dropped the cornstarch lid. Now I'm rolling out some nice soft black modeling chocolate and I just drape it right over the cake. This chocolate is what I'll use to sculpt all the details. Making a cake look like folded up fabric is it's not easy. Different materials will fold differently, like my jeans cake before. Jeans are made of denim, so I sculpted the folds to look more stiff looking because denim is really heavy. But this sweatshirt is made of cotton, so I need to sculpt the folds to look soft, so it reads as a nice light material. Cotton's more foldy. Foldy? It's squishy, it's comfy. So basically, I'm trying my best to sculpt this chocolate to look soft with rounded edges. Now I gotta move this cake to a larger surface so that I can sculpt the hood. A sheet pan will do. The inside of my sweatshirt has a different texture than the outside. I'm using this mold that I made a little while back of sidewalk texture, and I'm repurposing it to create a fuzzy inside. It's interesting how the texture of something that's really hard, like cement, could also pass as a soft cotton. I'm a DIY over here, kind of whatever works. I made the decision to make the hood entirely out of modeling chocolate with no cake. And that's because I want this hood to look floppy. And if I try to incorporate cake into the hood, I feel like it's gonna look a little too puffy. And I definitely wouldn't describe a hood as puffy. Hoods are floppy, not puffy. Everyone knows that. This hood has a drawstring, so I'm adding a thick coil of modeling chocolate and I'm just placing it right around the edge of the hood. I just want you to pretend there's a string in there. I'm poking two holes in the front of the hood and I'm sculpting some eyelets. I'll add the drawstring later. And this is a zip up hoodie, so I'm sculpting a little canal right down the center and then I'm gonna fill it with a zipper later. And onto the edible zipper. I'm using molding putty to create this zipper because zippers are pretty small. Sculpting the zipper by hand is very possible, but why do that when I have a plethora of zippers right in this very house that I can use to create a mold? The molds are made, so let's use them. I'm rolling out a strip of white modeling chocolate and I'm pressing the zipper mold right into that chocolate in sections. I suppose I could have used one single long mold, but that would use up a lot of putty. And molding putty, it's, not, it's just not cheap. This sweatshirt is not brand new. It's been washed a few times. And what happens when you wash zip up hoodies? The zipper eventually starts to ripple. At least mine do. Can I hang dry them? Who wants to hang dry? No. Well, anyway, this hoodie has shrunk a little, so it has the zipper ripple. And I really like that. I think it makes it look nice and real. This sweatshirt looks kinda soft, but it's definitely missing something. It needs texture, but it's been a few hours since I covered the cake in that soft black modeling chocolate. So since then it has firmed up. It's not taking texture. I'm trying to push a hard bristle brush into it. It's nothing. So what do I do? Gotta add heat with a blow dryer. If I apply the heat nice and even, then the chocolate takes the texture. <laughs> Problem solved. And bonus, the chocolate's now soft enough that I can apply texture with a paper towel. And I think it makes for a much more unique texture. Now I will paint the zipper silver and it's time to move on to the drawstring. I used a mold for the zipper to save some time and I'm doing it again. I'm pressing a real drawstring right into the molding putty. Then I let it harden for 20 minutes. Now I'll just fill the mold with modeling chocolate, trim the top, I let it firm up, 
and I pop it out of the mold. And I love it. It's a little short, so I'm piecing together two pieces so it's a longer string. Then I clean up those edges and I place the string into the eyelets. And there you have it, a hooded sweatshirt cake. What do you guys think? Does my sweatshirt look soft enough? Does it look fluffy like cotton? I'm pretty confident it doesn't look like denim, so that's good. <laughs> All right, let's cut it. Ah, this is fun, I like this one. I'm glad I added that towel texture and the zipper wave. If you like this cake, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel right now because I post a brand new realistic cake every single week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.